Well, hello out there, YouTube. It's your girl, the Curry Momager. I haven't been on here in quite a while. It's been at least a year, I think. And I've been doing some broadcasting over on Periscope starting uh, in January and wanted to make sure that I gave some love to my YouTube channel as well. So that's why you see me here smiling today on January 4th. And I'm issuing a challenge to my momager friends. So my first scope for the year is a challenge to all of you moms out there with athletes. And of course, my major focus is basketball because that's what my son plays. And it's what I'm probably the most familiar with, although I'm, I know football as well and a couple other sports. But this challenge can um, really be focused on any mom of an athlete in, in any sport, volleyball, tennis, karate, anything, you name it. Um, and, and what it's based on is um, it's called Pray Before You Play. And it's a challenge for you to pray with your athlete. It has five components to it. And I'll go over those components um, with an emphasis on a particular scripture. The scripture that we're using for the first week of the challenge, because this will go on for four weeks, every week in January, is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Very popular scripture that a lot of athletes use for motivation, encouragement. Uh, so... Uh, most a lot of them are familiar with it, including uh, my son. It was actually probably the first scripture that he learned. And uh, really popular athlete Steph Curry, if you follow NBA and the Golden State Warriors, has uh, used that in many interviews that I've seen him do. Uh, television. When he's been on TV, he talks about his will, his um, strength comes from the Lord, it comes from God, it's God-given talent, and um, how his belief system is, and so I think it's very powerful for him to do that. And when uh, we ordered Kyle some shoes for uh, Christmas, he wanted some Steph Curry's. And on the actual shoe, the beginning of the scripture is on uh, the shoe and it says, I can do all things, which I think is amazing. It, it really touched my heart, but I, I wanted to go deeper than that. Sorry, I keep moving my hair out of my face. I wanted to go deeper than that so that the players not only understand that scripture, the entire scripture, but the meaning behind it. So here are the five components of the challenge. And if you follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, at Curvy Momager, you will see a picture of um, the challenge that you can kind of snap, screenshot on your phone so you can share it with your player as well. So the first component is each day you're going to say that scripture out loud. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Every day you want to say that out loud, you and your player. The second component is read the entire passage of Philippians 4. So we we know the scripture, but do we know the, the real meat of it? Do we know the why? Why do we believe that all things can be accomplished through Christ? And that scripture, that passage, gives you the why. It gives you the knowledge, the background. And I think that's so important for us to have in order to believe that that piece of it. You know, you can't just say it and not really know why. So read that entire passage, Philippians 4. Sorry, my phone always going off. Um, and then third, I want you to ask your player and yourself, what are you asking God to strengthen in you? Um, what is your, you know, why, what do you need help with? What are you asking for strength for? And write that down on a piece of paper, post it someplace where you're going to see it regularly, refrigerator, mirror, maybe the radio in your car, where you're going to see it regularly this week. And, um, and ask God to strengthen you in that area and to show you guidance in that area and, and, and watch the manifestation of that. And then, uh, fourth, we're going to pray with our players. So before the game, we have four games this week. We're going to uh, have prayer together. And, and those prayers consist of a lot of things. An injury-free season. Um, I'm just giving some suggestions here. Uh, better GPA, scholarships, uh, team leadership, team cohesiveness. A lot of things that you can, can pray with your player about. Um, focused on the team. But... As we're raising Christian athletes, our goal is not only for them to be better athletes, but to be better people. And I think that's the real 
basis of why I really talk about this so much with my brand because I think it's important that we we give them that tool so if they do elevate in their games if they're going on to college or some of them going on to professional levels we give them those tools necessary to make the smarter decisions um, so praying with your player before the game is essential. Some of you moms have players that are at college, and I know that's challenging to try and reach them on game days. I even find it now in high school more challenging to talk to Kyle before a game. But you can always pray and then just share with them in a text that you did that or however you guys communicate during the day. Uh, so that's number four. And then the fifth one is if you'd be so inclined to share on social media, tweet that you know you're doing this challenge, post a picture on Instagram, Instagram, if you you know did your word and you put it on the refrigerator or whatever it may be share on social media we want to get more moms involved in this um, initiative and uh, more players interested in, in what the cover momager brand is doing because it's really not about me and my kid that's important but it's about linking up with other moms and other players so that we can as a community learn how to raise better athletes okay so that is my spiel for today. Also, you can follow me on Periscope. Sorry, YouTube. Um, if you like, because I'm doing a challenge uh, daily called Jane You Want with the Perry Girls. And every day I'll be doing something in relating to mom and, moms in sports, uh, talking about some new things that will be coming up for my brand. So make sure you join me over there. I will try and YouTube as much as possible too, but it's not as easy for me to, to do video on YouTube. I don't know why. Maybe I'll get better at it. But thanks for joining and following. Please share, share, share. And if you want me to uh, follow you, just send me an email at curvymomager at yahoo.com. I am always on there. It comes on my phone, girl. So if I say I didn't get your email, I am not telling you the truth. <laughs> Okay, tomorrow is Tequila Talk Tuesday. Yes, I went from talking about Jesus to talking about tequila. Uh, but it's just a really quirky name that I use for discussion topics. So make sure you check me out. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.